I'm going to start working from top view. So to change the view of your drawing, you can go to view panel. Click this drop down arrow and select top. Or you can hover over here and just uh, click the view controls and select top. All right. Start with circle, so C for circle command. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option and enter 3.333. Enter, which is this one here. And the next uh, circle is the pitch diameter, which is 3. So type C for circle and specify center point. So just hover over the side of this first circle and you can see that plus sign. And then click and enter D for diameter option and enter 3. Same process. So right click to repeat circle and look at center. Type D for diameter option and enter 2.571 for the root circle. 2.571. Enter. And the next one is... The diameter is 2, repeat circle, the next diameter is um, 1, and the last circle has a diameter of 0.5. So this is the tooth detail. To draw the tooth, I'm going to draw a line from the quadrant downward for 0.381 as a guide so l for line command enter and from the quadrant bring your cursor downward uh, before we proceed go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking object snap and selection cycling so type l for line command right click to enter Click that quadrant, bring your cursor downward for 0.381. Now I'm going to draw a line from this point to this point, which is 0 0.094. So I'm just going to draw a line here, 0 0.094. And move this one from midpoint. To the quadrant another line which is the tooth thickness and it has um, distance of 0.2618 so L for line command and enter 0.2618 so move this one and click the midpoint and click this intersection here or the quadrant and the next thing to do is use three point arc command and select this endpoint here this endpoint and move your cursor downward and then click anywhere here type tr for trim command enter twice and remove this one I'm gonna apply fillet and the value for that is 0 0.062 so go back to the ribbon and inside modify panel select fillet go down to the command prompt click the radius option and enter 0 0.062 enter click this one and click this uh, circle and now mirror the object so type mi for mirror command right click to enter select this curve and this one right click to enter and specify first point of mirror line click this in point and that in point and select no now join the segments by typing j for join command right click to enter and just window it we don't need this one anymore we don't need that. So now I'm going to array this tooth. So type array. 
array polar and select this object right click to enter and specify center point of array and click the center and go to the ribbon and change the number of items for 18 and enter and enter again now type tr for trim command enter twice and remove this one this part of the circle And enter now explode the array object first so type X for explode command right click to enter and explode this one all right so join the segments so type J for join command and just select the whole thing and enter uh, when it's not all connected, so type J for join command again and select this one and select this. I think it's all connected. So bring your drawing now to Southwest Isometric. And the face width is one unit. So what I'm going to do is create a line or use this 3D polyline and click the center here bring your cursor upward and enter one unit oh it's flat press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse and uh, move it around so you could see the direction of your line so so type l for line command click the center and bring your cursor upward for one unit now it's along the z-axis now go back to the ribbon and click this drop down arrow and select sweep command and click this uh, 2d gear right click to enter and go down to the command prompt and select uh, twist option and enter in the twist angle or allow banking for a non-planar sweep path uh, for twist angle enter 45 which is this one here and select this path so this is the angle now I'm gonna copy these uh, three circles I'm just gonna change this to to the wireframe so it's easier to grab the circle this one and this one copy from center to the face here and just click that center there that uh, plus sign or maybe enter one to be safe just enter one because the distance from here to here is one so just bring your cursor upward and enter one and enter I'm gonna check there you go now, as you can see here, there is an indentation and the distance for that is 0.25. So I'm going to use press pull command. So go to the ribbon, select press pull command, just hover over. Once it turns blue, left click, let go of your finger and bring your mouse down for 0.25. Repeat press pull command, hover over, once it turns blue, left click and let go of your finger and bring your cursor upward or the mouse upward for 0.25. I just need to draw the key groove on this circle. So what I'm going to do is to get this one out of the way, I'm going to hide this object here. Or maybe just click the circle and then right click and select or hover over isolate and select isolate objects so 
bring this to top view I'm gonna draw a rectangle so REC for rectangle enter click anywhere on the screen and the X value is 0 0.093 so 0 0.093 comma for the Y is 0 0.062 And then I'm just going to bring this one downward, move, and uh, click that the quadrant. I'm just going to trim. So type TR for trim command, enter twice, and remove this one. And then press the shift key. Don't uh, change the command yet. Just press the shift key and click this one to extend. Enter. I'm just going to trim again trim this one press the shift key and click this line to extend and enter tr for trim command again enter twice remove this one now join the segment so type j for join command right click to enter and select the whole thing now we can bring the hidden object so just click right click anywhere on the screen Hover over isolate and select an object isolation. All right. So use press pull command, go back to the ribbon inside modeling panel, hover over this object here. Left click, let go of your finger, left click again. Now, I think we're almost done. I'm just going to apply fillet. It's up to you. I'm just going to show you how. Uh, use realistic. I'm just going to move this one. Erase the unwanted objects. So go to solid. Select fillet edge. Radius. I'm going to apply... 0.01 and chain enter and enter again And you can clean the rest to smoothen the edges. And now we can apply materials. So type materials. And um, you can click this drop down arrow inside the Autodesk library and select metal. And you can select aluminum or steel. I'm going to select aluminum. And... Uh, Maybe machine aluminum. I'm just going to minimize this one, maximize this uh, screen, and go to visualize and um, just click these lights here and adjust the exposure. I think we are done. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified.